Welcome to this episode of Ultimate Network Administration and today we're going to be talking about LACP, Link Aggregation Control Protocol. So this is a way to improve uh, bandwidth throughput from switch to switch and also to um, increase port redundancy. So say a port goes down, you have redundancy in the port, so you'll all, you will have another port that you can communicate on. So here we go. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll create, um, go into configuration mode, configure terminal, and then we'll go and create an interface port, port channel, and we'll say this one is like 19. So on here we'll do like, you'll do the configuration that you would on the actual ports. So this is just a virtual interface. It's an SVI, switched virtual interface. So here we'll do switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk VLAN, uh, native VLAN 900. So we'll just specify a, let's see here, VLAN 900, fix it, interface PO 19, switch port trunk native VLAN 900. Then we'll do like switch port, trunk allowed, VLAN, we'll just say we've got VLANs 10, 20, and 30. I want to stick away from VLAN 1, that's a bad idea. Okay, so now you have, uh, let's see, do show run interface port channel 1, or 19. So here you can actually see the configuration, you've got your native VLAN 900, the three allowed VLANs and then the mode. So now you want to say what interfaces you want to actually configure on. So here we'll go to interface range, we'll do ports one and two, or uh, let's do three and four. G gigabit one slash zero slash three through four. So here we're on ports three and four, so we'll do the same thing we just did before. So what we can really do to cheat just a little bit is we can copy that, just click it, back in there right click paste since we're using putty so now do show run int gi10 slash 3 you can see that it's the same just check the configs now go into the ports again and now to actually add it to the port channel what we'll need to do is to specify channel group and then the port channel ID, 19 in this case, and then you'll need to specify the mode. So we have active, passive, auto, desirable, and on. Active and passive are for LACP. So in this case, we'll do active. So what I typically like to do is on the main side, I will do active, and then on the downstream side, we'll do passive. So in this case, we'll do active that will put those in the port channel. So if you go back to enable mode, we'll do show ether channel summary, and you can see the ports. We have port channel 19 and 20, and that's what ports those are on. And they will tell you if they're up. Right now they are in the down state because there's nothing plugged into them. So you'll need to do that on the other side, and the port channel IDs do not matter on the other switch, but it's nice to have them match up as to help um, troubleshooting later on down the road. I hope that this has been informative. Thank you.